All right, good morning, Mass Mom staff and students. This is Mr. Lon with your Thursday A-Day announcements. How is everyone today? First from Mr. Marks. Do you have an idea to start a business? The Philadelphia Youth Basketball Foundation is launching the Magic Academy. Apply with your idea, and you may be selected to compete for a $10,000 prize to launch your business. Information is available in Mr. Marks' room, 604, or in the main office. All right, students, just want to talk just briefly about yesterday's lockdown. I want to thank everybody for their cooperation in the lockdown. This is never what we choose to do as a school community. Uh, nobody wants to have to have a lockdown, but uh, the team uh, definitely followed the system. So I want to thank students. And I just want to reemphasize that this was a neighborhood concern. We sent a letter out to families yesterday on our internet link. Um, it was a neighborhood concern. Uh, but again, thank you to all staff and students for following the systems and making sure that everybody stayed safe. Upcoming events, Thursday the 29th, guess what? That's today. It is homecoming and it is family breakfast for seniors and students. As you know, uh, whether it is with a lockdown drill, whether it is uh, you know following a tragedy such as what happened with the Roxborough High and Saul High School communities, our number one priority always as educators at MassBomb is to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. Please reach, reach out to a staff member that you trust if you have any concerns or problems because we are certainly here to support you. All right, one more time because it's today. All right, Senior Homecoming nominees, class of 2023. We have Sky Beverly. We have Alexandra, a.k.a. Lala. Adames, we have Tamaya uh, and Jay Lee. Okay, we have Marquise Jackson. All right, and uh, this is not homecoming. Um, this is the LaSalle Busca open house. Uh, good luck to all our homecoming folks, by the way. Uh, this is from Mr. Zwalak. If you are bilingual and you are not sure what your plans are after high school, come join us for the Busca open house. It is on. October the 13th, please see Mr. Zwolak for additional details. Reminder about our 10th grade trip upcoming, our social media. Staff and students, shout outs. All right. Big shout out to Serenity McClendon and Antoinette Smith Bethia for representing Mass Bomb proudly at the Baldy Middle School High School Fair. That kind of almost sounds redundant. Middle School High School Fair, but Baldy is a middle school. Uh, anyway, Antoinette and Serenity represented Mass Bomb, answered questions. They killed it. They did an amazing job at Baldy. And ladies, great work representing your school. And once again, I just want to thank everybody for their work during the lockdown. And one specific thing that I want to thank is we, um, we had to do our dismissal a little bit differently to avoid the crime scene that was a couple of blocks away. So we rerouted around Clementine and Clearfield Street. Um, it was something that police asked us to do. And uh, when police uh, were on scene for a dismissal, uh, they, they made sure to give me feedback saying that, you know, it went great on the mass bomb end of things, that uh, the students did a wonderful job. So students, thank you very much uh, for you know, taking the situation seriously and doing a great job during the midst of it. It is Hispanic Heritage Month. All right. If you would like to recognize staff or students, staff or students, if you would like to recognize someone for Hispanic Heritage Month, you can email Mr. Lon at dllon at philsd.org. We are looking for recognitions. I have one today, and this one is kind of a throwback for me. It is Rudolfo Anaya who was an American author. Noted for his 1972 novel, Bless Me Ultima, Anaya was considered one of the founders of the canon of contemporary Chicano literature. The themes and cultural references of the novel, which were uncommon at the time of its publication, had a lasting impression on fellow Latino writers. It was subsequently adapted into a film and an opera. And Rudolfo Anaya and Bless Me Ultima is... A special to me because I remember reading it myself as a student in the ninth grade at Frankfurt High School. 
Now, I have not read it in many, many years. Actually, not since I was in ninth grade. Maybe I should read it again. But I do remember it, and I have remembered it always as the first book that I read in high school that I really, really loved. So you know, I definitely myself want to recognize Rudolfo Anaya and his writings on this day. National Days. Today is a national day that a lot of people can get behind. Okay, it is National Coffee Day. National Coffee Day. All right. Happy National Coffee Day. Maybe I'll drink a second cup today in honor of National Coffee Day. All right, staff and students, close it on out as we do with our school vision. Hey, we're builders. We're Mass Bomb. We build the future. Have a great Thursday.